Welcome to God's Food for Thought. This week we're continuing with Thinking God's Way. Thinking God's Way. And we have a motto or a slogan that we're using this week, and it's simply this. Not putting God first is not putting good first. You think, well, that's, yeah, that's pretty obvious. Well, it's not obvious to everybody because everybody, everybody would be following God if they really believed that. <laughs> People turn away from God in order to try to pursue something they think is good. But when we don't put God first, good will not be first in our lives. And today we're talking about thoughts centered around God's Word. You know, our mind has two parts to it. The renewed mind that contains God's Word of truth and the unrenewed or carnal mind that is mixed up with good and evil, truth and lies. Remember from the knowledge of the tree of good and evil, there was a blending there. There was a mixing up. Uh, everything in life has some good things about it, some bad things about it. There's nothing that's 100% good when, uh, when we fell away from God. That will not happen again until the Lord returns. So the, the blending of good and evil are... Well, there's a part of our mind that just doesn't want to follow God and it wants to go after that, that evil stuff. <laughs> and we have to deal with that. And God knows what we do. He, he knows we're dealing with that. But He is always there to have us think and have our thoughts centered around His Word. That is the sword that will fight that battle. Divide the truth from lies. You know, the carnal mind, that part of mind that's at enmity with God, it rejects the presence of God. Every one of us have that carnal part of us, that part of our mind. It tries to distract us during the preaching of God's word to where we start thinking about other things. When we try to read and study God's word, it wants to distract us. It wants to distract us when we pray. That's our own mind doing it. You know, it's like, well, okay, I'm thinking about something else now. Whoop, forgot even what I was praying for. And it'll really try to distract you when you enter into praise and worship. It's the carnal mind. It's the unrenewed part of our human nature that really as you get the Word of God more and more into you, there becomes a greater percentage of your thoughts that are around and centered around God's Word. When we first start out, it seems like a lot more of our thoughts are the other way. But God is always working in us and growing in us. You know, it's it's interesting. You have to take two words, faith, faith and fantasy. Faith and fantasy. You know, most unbelievers who don't know God, they think that our faith is fantasy. And... Really, the difference between godly faith, real God kind of faith, and fantasy is the difference between truth and lies. Faith comes from God, from the true revelation of the Creator. It's, faith is the truth about Him. Faith is based on the truth of who God is as revealed in His Word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word. Faith comes from God by His revelation, by hearing that true word. Faith comes from God's say-so, from the mind of God, thinking God's way, thoughts centered around God's word. There is a substance to godly faith. It's not an empty fantasy. It's not an empty imagination. There's a substance to faith. In fact, it says that in, 11, in Hebrews 11.1. 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That substance is a realization. It's a confidence. It's just as true as you know where you are right now. Today, as we talk about 
thoughts centering around God's Word. We want to look at the difference between faith in God and this fantasy thing. Now, fantasy can be defined as imagination. Uh, fantasy is a really a product of imagination. It can be a delusion. It can be a daydream. It can be something that has no substance to it. It's just make-believe. I can have make myself believe something where there's no substance. True faith hopes in God. True faith is centered in the reality of the great I am. So true faith hopes in God. Fantasy hopes in anything else other than God. Fantasy does not have the substance that true godly faith has. Now, both faith and fantasy will affect the way we think. You know, we can believe a truth or we can believe a lie and say, well, okay, I'm, I'm believing. As long as, I be long as I'm sincere in my belief, that's okay. Well, you can be sincerely wrong. That's not going to help you. You see, God comes and reveals himself. It's up to him to reveal himself. He created us. He made us with the ability to perceive, to hear in the physical. And he also did that in the spiritual where we can hear his voice. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. Delusion or truth? Faith or fantasy? Fantasy comes from the 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 spirit of Antichrist, the spirit of lies. Faith comes from God. You know, think about it. There were two guys following Jesus, Judas and John. They both had the same mentor. <laughs> but, G but Judas believed not just the words of Jesus, he listened to the enemy. The Bible says Satan entered into Judas. And the one who had heard all the wonderful truth now started blending it with the liar. And that can happen to anyone. We need to be on guard and, and watch what we listen to. Take the word of God and let it be your light so you don't be, won't be thrown into darkness like Judas did. Well, today we're talking about thoughts centered around God's word. Jesus is called the word of God. He's the living word of God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And we're going to sing about that right now. You know, when you sing, you use a different part of your brain than when you speak. That's why some people who stutter when they speak do not stutter when they sing. There's something about singing that gets it into your spirit. That's why it's wonderful to exhort one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. And so this is why we do songs in this God's Food for Thought. Well, we're going to sing the song entitled, the way. And I hope it's a blessing for you. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. Every breath.